Hey, how's it going guys? It's Fury. Another one already? Yes. <laughs> yes, indeed. Okay, so I was uh, just about to make some potions when I got the message that some pirates are invading. So I'm gonna do this on camera because I, uh, you know, there's some items that I read about that I really want from the pirates. Check out this DPS now. Oh, and you just dropped me a soul siphon. What is that? I don't know, but let's summon these guys. I got these guys back again because the, um, the Calamitas summon was kind of loud. <laughs> it was pretty loud. Um, I'm going to use it again. We'll switch back and forth and stuff. But yeah, it was pretty loud and kind of, you know, I don't want my entire video to just sound like the laser sound from Calamitas. But, okay, so, obviously, this is the very next day after episode, uh, 53. And I didn't really do much, and I was planning on not, not doing much, because of, uh, that break between episode 52 and episode 53. I ended up, like, I did a lot of stuff off camera, a lot of building and everything. And I didn't want to do that again, not yet anyway. So, I wasn't planning on doing much. What I did do was, uh, you die. Obviously, this, this weapon is so amazing. I love this thing. The Wyvern Slayer. I reforged it. I reforged everything. So, we got the P90, and I switched to the, uh, Crystal Bullet Pouch, because the Chlorophyte was causing a bunch of dropped frames. I'm still probably gonna get some. Uh, I am saving up to update my graphics card, so hopefully that solves any of the issues that I've been having uh, that you guys don't really know about. <laughs> but ever since I updated to 1.3.4, not even just in Tmod Loader, but vanilla Terraria 1.3.4, I get some, you know, some slowdown. Even when I turn the water effects really low, and it's not like in every map or anything like that, because I've played adventure maps in 1.3.4 and it's been fine. But, uh, it's just like a, when there are a lot of crap, like animated crafting stations around or like, uh, worlds like Omnir's Castlevania 2 map that I did like a little feature on. That map caused a ton of slowdown, I guess because it has a lot of actuators. A lot of actuated blocks and stuff, maybe. But yeah, there's just like, a, I'm getting some slowdown. So anyway, no big deal. I'll get it figured out soon. But, uh, so yeah, all I did between episodes was I reforged like everything. We got, this thing is amazing. It does tons, I think this is the most DPS, or no, the Wyvern Slayer. This attack does the most DPS on a target dummy anyway. I mean, it's crazy. <laughs> I love it. I love this weapon. It's like destroying all the vines and cobwebs in, in my entire world. Like every build that I like to keep the... Oh, Captain's Regards. How come we don't have any um, Jolly Roger, right? I can't remember the name of it. The ship. We didn't get a single one of them. That's really lame. That's what I want because they drop some... Uh, like, pirate chest or something that has, like, loot. One of the weapons that I want that I probably will end up just using for, like, ten minutes anyway. Oh, hello. Finally you show up. Here, let's destroy you with salt water. Brackish water. Look how quickly that just got annihilated. Alright. Oh, you... Hopefully nobody died. Alright. You're alive. You almost... Bit the dust, buddy. What's this? Greedy magnet. Nice. Give me that. Alright. So. What's this? Captain's regards. P pirate diplomacy at its finest. Oh, what? It shoots. Like, really short distance. That's probably really loud, too. Um. What do you call it? Here, go away. Uh, shotgun blasts. Oops. And it shoots cannonballs. <laughs> the one weapon that I want, though, 
is, I think it's called the Hand Cannon, and it shoots cannonballs. It just looks really cool. It's like a little tiny cannon that you can hold in your hand. But anyway, okay. Between episodes, let me get rid of these guys. Wait, real quick. All I did was I made this. I put these little pl or boreal platforms hammered to the down position to block the doors from opening to kind of make this area a little bit safer for NPCs because previously I just had, and you know, mummies walking here and just opening the doors. So now it's a little bit safer. They can't open the doors, but uh, yeah. And now these are working. Last video, they weren't working for some reason. But you hear that? What are you? What's over here? But yeah, um, now these little bells, these chimes work. I like that. It adds like a nice little... Okay, you're dead. And you caused me some grief. Some dropped frames right there for some reason. Hopefully I get that figured out. But yeah, between episodes, all I did was I reforged everything and got my loadout, like, squared away. Like, now we're pretty good. We got this thing we're using. We got this thing, which is amazing. We're using the P90 again with the crystal bullets for now. This is, like, my favorite weapon. And what else? Reforged. Um, did that a little bit. <laughs> I was about to make some potions, but the big thing that I did was I worked on this. I worked on the spirit biome, you know, fixed like some of like the blocks don't blend together. So there was a lot of light showing through between the dirt and the uh, stone. So hopefully they fix that. But for now, like I put a bunch of wall behind everything and hopefully covered up all those little light rays shining through. And, of course, I made a bunch more waterfalls, planted some trees, so we can get some spirit wood. And, yeah. And, uh, I did this. I put some cloud wall painted blue behind the mushroom biome, which is staying. I know I mentioned that I was going to get rid of the mushroom biome, maybe, but I'm not. Totally not. It's staying. Perfectly just staying. It's forever going to be a mushroom biome there. I'm going to build a few little things on the bottom there, though. And I built this wall to cover up the uh, the very top of the spirit background wall, spirit biome background wall. I don't like the way the very top of it looks, so I covered that up with the cloud wall over here and with this little, you know, wall right there. And then I sprayed this entire area down here with the uh, spirit solution as well. So we got a big underground spirit biome. And I'm going to build like a little town in here or something. Anyway, that's all I did. Just, you know, worked on the spirit biome, reforged everything, and didn't even get around to making some potions. But what are we doing now? I guess, uh, let me... Let me... What's this? Oh, uh, it's probably like that bleed weapon. Saps energy from nearby enemies. Okay. Saps energy. Here, let me use it on you. Oh, it doesn't work through walls. Okay, you gotta be really close. Okay. Cool. Alright, so, uh, yeah. Let's actually do this right now, if I can. We're gonna summon Scarabius from the spirit mod, but I'm gonna use this. Hopefully... Prepare to die! Hopefully we don't kill each ourselves not each other well I don't want to kill each other either but oh hello oh you're almost dead already here we're gonna burn you with fire come down here where you can die super fast now I messed up so we got that we don't need the potions is that just potions yeah okay pirates booty I think I threw my old one out I had this but I think I threw it out because the Yo-Yo uh, Overload mod wasn't updated, but then it ended up updating. So I threw out all my stuff from that. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to keep that. Anyway, I'm probably going to sell some other things. Definitely not the furniture. Greedy Magnet magnetizes all loose items on the screen. Dude, what? Okay, but wait. Look at that. Are you serious? 
What? Wait a minute. So it's like you have to hold it. That's actually pretty amazing. Huh. On the entire screen, guys. That's awesome. We got a platinum. Nice. All right. So let me use this again. Welcome to Terraria. Good. All right. Now look at this real fast. So this attack. Okay, let me spam it. DPS. We can work it up to like over a thousand. But check this out. Here, let me get the right... So if it hits twice... Look at that DPS, guys. Over 3,000. It's over 3,000. Yes. That isn't even that high. And then this is also really high. Check that out. Nice. And then this. Anyway, okay, let me put items away. And then uh, we're going to fight some more stuff. This episode's gonna be just a purely fighting episode, okay? Next episode, I'm gonna do some building, though, I promise. <laughs> Alright, guys, so I'm actually gonna use this Captain's Regards gun, because it does crazy DPS. Look at that. That's awesome. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Alright, so, oh, what's in the treasure bag from Scarabius? Scarab. Chitin? Okay, and a Scarab Charm. Minion damage by 8% and max minions by 1. Nice. Okay, but we're not using that right now. I'm going to pop that in here. Okay. Chitin. Uh, sure. What's this? Scarab Bow. We're going to sell the Chitin. Let's look at that real fast. It's probably, you know, this is the first boss in the game, I think. Yeah. Like, super early boss. Okay. Let's uh, put that in here, hopefully, yes. Okay, there we go, guys. Now, oh, hey, close the door. Helen of Troy. Now, let's go to the ocean, because I want to fight the uh, Leviathan again. We're doing a rematch, guys, because we're using this thing. We're definitely, we're using this thing. And last time... We uh, fought it <laughs> without a shield, and I was, like, wondering why I kept taking, like, knockback and everything, and, like, I was just dying, like, getting so close to dying. I didn't die, but it was close. Hello. All right, so, but before the that guy, what I want to do is fight the slime god again, because this summons him, right? I hope. Here, let's just do it. Slime god. All right, yeah, because, oh, there's, what? There's two of them? I never got, people are telling me to make this and make that to make sure that I got a Nazar. Are you serious? What? Okay. What? <laughs> nice. I think I already had an extra one for the, uh, oops, I'm using the wrong weapon here. For the, another Ankh shield that I have to make. Um, but anyway. Yeah, I never got any perennial ore. People are telling me to remember to make the uh, the Seraph Tracers. Oh, when I can. And I don't think I have any perennial ore in my world. So where is... Oh, is it just you? Fossilized plant ore has formed in the earth. Wait. Isn't that the other ore? Is my world glitched? Oh, those things kill you, I forgot. <laughs> um... Yeah. Because, I don't know. I think there's another type of ore that spawns when you kill the Plaguebringer Goliath. Title essence, nice. Um... We don't need this stuff. Here, we'll keep them. I don't remember what those are for. Solar drop. Oh, yeah, that's just for making, like, another item like this, but from the uh, Blue Magic mod. Anyway, what do we got in here? Let me know, let me know. Go. Gel darts. Mana overloader. Oh, it looks different. Yeah, that's going to be sold. This? Oh, yeah. Nice. I think we had this at some point. It does 70 magic damage. 
But yeah, there's like some other ore that spawns. Hopefully we got the right ore. We need perennial. Perennial ore. Okay, but now what we need is for the, uh, that lure, the three question mark little mermaid. Little mermaid, we need her to spawn. That is the boss. The giant fish thing, that is not the boss. That's just the thing that just completely destroys your life. All right, guys, she spawned right here in the entrance to my aquatic depths. Now, let's buff and let's do this. Oh, yeah. Okay. So now, hopefully, we uh, don't get much slowdown because last time I got a bunch, I think because of the chlorophyte bullets. Now, we're going to just spam this thing all over the place because it does a ton of DPS. But we have to hit her. That's the problem. Is like this other guy. She she swims like or flies super fast all over the place, and yeah, the P90 causes the slowdown. As you know, <laughs> as expected, pretty much because it shoots super fast. So we need to hit her. What can I? I'm just gonna spam this everywhere, because this does a ton of DPS. If I can stab her with this a bunch of times, look at that. Yeah, and we're going to try to stay, like, under the water as much as possible. Because then our DPS is just even more insane. Because we're using both, uh, here, this thing, which increases our damage 10%. And this thing does, like, a ton of stuff, too. Underwater, though. So, like, yeah. Last time, I f the entire fight was basically me running from her. <laughs> or running from the giant, giant thing. Because it was just like, I was at like less than 100 HP or around 100 HP most of that fight. Now this time, we're struggling to even get below 700, which is nice. <laughs> That's very nice. Here, hurry up and die. You, she's like the ultimate nymph, you know? The lost girl. She's like the, she tricks you you're like oh what what's wrong and then you like well you know you're like what's wrong let me kill you <laughs> and then uh she summons her friend who like pounds your face in with his giant jaws oh hello another one a shadow flame one that's really cool that you can just like continuously all right don't shoot me or else i'm gonna have to fight another one we might do that guys all right leviathan mask Green Tide summons green blasts of water from the sky to... Green blasts of water, wait. From the sky on enemy hits. Oh, cool. We're gonna fight another one real quick, but this one I am going to... Here, we're not using that anyway. I am gonna speed this one up. All right, let's do it. Get ready to die. <laughs>Die. Look at that. We don't even need to move. That's amazing. Totally amazing. Okay. So... We got all these pearls. We don't need them. What's in here? Oh, yes! We already have it. <laughs> we just still haven't gotten the trophy. 206. Ooh. Uh, the lure stays in place, shooting waters. Oh, okay. We got a... Uh, what do you call it? I don't know. A stationary summon. Nice. And I forgot to use the... Um, this thing. Here, let's use this. Let's just, like... Get all of our drops. Look at this. This magnet is amazing. <laughs> yes. That's, like, pretty essential, guys. Oh, look at that. <laughs> nice. Okay. That's cool, though, because if your backpack is full and you're like, oh, man, I don't want to throw away anything, you can just, like, here, I don't want to fight another one, but you can just, like, you know, walk back home, or walk to some chests, and just attract all of these items that you want back to your home with you. <laughs> all right. Anyway, I'm going to sell everything I don't want, and then we are going to... I want to farm for something in the sky, guys. 
Okay guys, so I actually forgot. I have this thing on me that I was told to get because I don't have the Calamity biome. So we're gonna use this. I don't know if it creates it where you use it. I think it's supposed to create it uh, underground, like in the underworld, but I'm gonna go down there just in case. Now from what I can tell, from what I know, where I've heard, this biome spawns uh, Underground, it's supposed to s Oh, what? Oh, we got the wall of flesh. Okay. I need, uh... I need some emblems anyway. Alright, fine. We'll kill you really quickly. Check this out. We'll kill you with this until we run out of mana, and then we'll kill you with this. <laughs> Man, alright. Nice. Rogue emblem times two. What? Here, trash. That does- I don't think that sells for anything. Famine Scepter. Rogue Emblems. Okay, we got two of them. That's interesting. Ninja Emblem. And a Sorcerer Emblem and a Clockwork. Okay. Man. <laughs> Onward. Oh, here it is. So it spawns all the way over here on the side. But does any new enemies spawn here? Oh, look at this. Wow. Interesting. What are you? Dude. Okay. <laughs> hey, Levi. Is there supposed to be something in here? Huh. Hopefully... Oh, wait. Hmm. It looks like there was supposed to be something in there. I really hope that uh, it's not, like, glitched or something. Charred ore. We got charred ore. Let's get all this. Then we'll get out of here. Nice. Anyway, uh, now I'm gonna hang out in the sky for a while. And hopefully uh, kill some wyverns. Anyway, let's go. Let's do it. Come here. Let's use the Wyvern Slayer to kill the Wyverns. Yeah, come here. Okay, I got like a couple more left and then I'm out of here for now. It must be a very rare item, but I'm trying to get the uh, the Wyvern Mount from Thorium Mod. I think it drops from Wyverns. That's what I was told. And uh, yeah, I mean, it makes sense that it drops from Wyverns. Let's fight a few more. I'm just trashing everything now. Because I'm almost out of room, but okay, something like I did not overreact or I did not react the way that I should have. I should definitely have overreacted when I got this magnet, because look at that. This item right here is an absolute game changer here. Summon two of these guys, too. It's weird. Sometimes I can summon two. Sometimes I can't. I'm trying to think of why. I'm a little tired right now. But anyway, this greedy magnet is totally insane and I hope that it does not get nerfed because it is amazing for uh, for AFK farming, guys, in my soul farms. Forget about it. You could just AFK, let me just trash things and then just AFK holding this thing and it doesn't matter. If anything dies on screen, you're gonna get the drops as long as you have any space, you know? 
That's crazy. It's so awesome. I love this item. Love it. And it would be like amazing if I could get this mount. <laughs> but uh, it looks like, you know, RNG's being a punk, guys. Okay. So we didn't get it. No big deal. I'm going to get it. I'm going to farm for it off camera probably. Or no, I'm not. I'll, I'll record it, but I'll speed it up for next time. Anyway, before we go... Again. <laughs> oh, no. We got pirates again? Oh, dude. These I gotta kill off camera. But hopefully no nobody dies. Anyway, shout out time. Where is it? I moved them all onto one. Harry B, thank you for telling me to farm the wyverns to get the, uh, the Nimbus flying wyvern mount of amazingness. We didn't get it this time, but I'm gonna get it next time. Definitely, definitely. And I'm gonna kill these these guys off camera, I think. Let me know in the comments if you think I should kill them off camera or just speed it up really quickly and do it next time. But I really wanna do some building for the next episode. So we, you know, time is limited. I wanna do building, I want to farm for a frozen turtle shell, for this mount. I wanna farm for a uh, s the lizard temple, some stuff in there, and yeah. Tons of stuff. And I want to progress a little bit more too. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Thank you, Harry B again for telling me about that minion or that mount. I'm going to definitely get it. But anyway, thanks guys. I'll see you next time. Peace out. Yes, this Wyvern Slayer, guys. Oh, dude. I love it. And this magnet. Please. It's from Thorium Mod. Please, Diver Man Sam, do not... Do not nerf the greedy magnet. It's amazing. Thank you for making it. All right. See everyone next time. <laughs>